Look, it's early days for £250. You could have a little peek over here and see whether or not Harry's got it right. OK, he is a blue coat, after all. Mm -hmm. uh, you could just copy his answer, which seems a fairly rash thing to do on the very first question, or you can have your guess, and if you're wrong, be saved by him. Oh, yeah, I'll do that, then. OK, so what are you locking in? A barber. Go on, then. Eh? There you go. Right. Say thank you, Noel, because that was definitely thank the you, thing Noel. to do. You have two hundred and fifty pounds. Right. right, come on. A little more confidence. Come on, Connie. Come on. Okay, okay. More confidence. More okay, confidence. Okay, okay. I don't know any German at all. All right. So but... shall we ignore that for the moment? Yeah, we could do. But then I don't know much about animal science. Yeah, but well, PE. <laughs> Uh, do you do much sort of fitness stuff? You know what, but the German must be something really easy if it's age six, so should we go for German? <laughs> because even though I've never done German, I'm going to go for German. Is that...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, then. Because then the green... You're isn't... funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trouble is, I don't think she's intending to be. No. But, but anyway, OK, we're going to work our way up. So, yeah. age six German, you have selected. Here is the question. What is the English translation of the German word Vater? Father, faster or water? What is the English translation of the German word Vater? I think it's father. Yeah, I think it's father. But I don't know German, so I don't know why I think this even ever, but it sounds a bit like father. Father. You're, you're locking in father. Right, OK. And again, we're hoping that if you're wrong, he's right. Yeah. This is going better than you realise. You're right! <laughs> but we have to say goodbye to Harry. Take oh. a certificate. You pop over there. Thank you very much, Harry. <laughs> he's right in shy. And now another member of my class to assist Hi. Connie, Hi. Olivia. Hi. Now, I was looking forward to seeing these. Now, tell me about this, because your mum is very keen on the brownies and guides um, and yeah, whatever, isn't she? she's a guide leader. Guide leader. And um, these are brownie badges. That you've got? Yes, I've earned them. They are. These are better than Blue Peter badges, aren't they? <laughs> you've got Montserrat down here. What's that all about? Oh, well, when it... There was a volcano that erupted. Yeah, yeah it still is. And, <laughs> and um, it destroyed some of the guiding... Oh, did it? Yeah. yeah. And so we did, like, this charity thing where we earned lots of money to um, build it back again. Oh, well done for you. Well done. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> you like that very much indeed. So, hopefully she's going to guide you to £2,500. The next subject, what would you like? Animal science. Animal science. So we're just going nicely up the scale. Animal science for a seven-year-old. She's done a lot of animal stuff on Blue Peter, I'd have thought. A domestic cat's pregnancy lasts approximately two, four or six months. Oh. What's the blue called? Uh, cookie there was and then there's socks. Yeah? Did they ever get pregnant? Uh, no. No? No. But, of course, a Blue Peter presenter would know all about animals and pets anyway. Not necessarily. Apparently <laughs> not! I think it's four, but I can have the save still, can't I? Yeah. Four. You're locking in four months. Mm -hmm. You keep looking at me in a really odd way, as if I'm suddenly going to give you some sign <laughs> whether you're going the right way. Connie, you're wrong. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, so now we are hoping that Olivia here has a brownie badge in cat whiffery. <laughs> the correct answer is that the cat takes two months in its pregnancy. Oh. Well, oh. I'm afraid it's a very big O, because <laughs> if Olivia is not into cats, and if she's got this wrong, 
<gasps> you're actually going to walk out of here with no money at all. Oh, no. And that could take a quite a bit of living down. Here is Olivia's answer. Yes! <laughs> Very good. So now you have a thousand pounds. Bit of a relief, isn't it? We're nearly, we're nearly there, aren't we? Two and a half thousand is the next stage. So what are you going to go for now? I'm going to go with maths. Okay. Age nine, maths. For two and a half thousand pounds, this is. Mm -hmm. Peter and Duncan share some chips in the ratio four to six. Duncan gets 24 chips. How many chips does Peter get? So Peter and Duncan share some chips in the ratio four to six. Duncan gets 24 chips. How many chips does Peter get? I think he gets 16. You're very fast there. But I've been wrong before. <laughs> well, you, you're only wrong with the last one. And that was about cats, <laughs> not about chips. I like chips. Yes. Slow I've got chips. a dog called Chips. Have you really? Mm. Oh. And I've got a cat. Ah. Guess what the cat's called? Fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it just seemed logical at the time. So, what are you locking in? Uh, 16. 16? Yeah. You think Peter gets 16 chips? She's locking it in in the hope that this is going to be good for two and a half thousand, and then you're only one correct answer away from the safety of five thousand mm pounds. -hmm. That'd be nice, wouldn't that it? That would be really, really Let's see nice. how this unfolds. Right after the break. See oh. you in a moment. <laughs> to Connie Huck's struggle. I think it's fair to call it a struggle at the moment, to get significant money for the British Red Cross. What is interesting, we're at £1,000. If you get to £5,000, it will train 500 members of the public in life-saving first aid techniques. So this could be a very significant victory. You said 16. You locked in 16 as the number of chips for Peter. And if you're right, we're nearly there. We're at 2500 Connie? You're correct. Thank you, Olivia. We have to say goodbye. Oh, Olivia goes, but you now have another selection from my class. Evan. Evan, Evan, please. <laughs> Sorry about that slippery bit. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, English grammar, age 10. OK, English grammar, age 10. This is for the safety of £5,000 for your chosen oh. charity. How many palindromes are there in the following sentence? Maverick's dad kept one level eye on the plane's radar. We're looking for palindromes in the sentence. Maverick's dad kept one level eye on the plane's radar. Always oh, in, every bit. I think there's four. You think there's four? Yeah. Would you be prepared to identify your thinking? Dad, level, eye, and radar, because you can say them all backwards. Or they all spell the same word backwards. <laughs> okay, so would you like okay. to lock in? Yes. You say four palindromes in that sentence. Connie, for the first time, you looked confident. <laughs> and you have £5,000. Yeah. You're safe. <laughs> You're safe. £5,000 will do a lot of good for the British Red Cross Society. And £5,000 cannot be taken away from you. Thank goodness yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah. So, let's yeah. put you really at your ease just before we go on to £10,000. And here is a picture of you in your bedroom. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Have you always been a poser? I do look like a friend. Look at my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Blair. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you there? Uh, I think I was a bit younger than... I think I was about nine. You haven't changed. You haven't changed <laughs> a bit. OK, happy to go on? Yes. 
£10,000 is worth having a pop at because you can't lose the five. Um, <laughs> you really want PE, don't you, yeah. Evan? OK, in that case, I'm just going to peek at you and choose it then, okay. maybe. Yeah? What are we doing? Uh, I think we're picking PE. OK, then. <laughs> Here is the question for a seven-year-old on the national curriculum. Under PE, in athletics, there are four main varieties of competition, walking, running, jumping, and which other? So there you go. Now you know wow. what's on, <laughs> on the agenda for seven-year-olds. Under PE, in athletics, there are four main varieties of competition. There's walking, there's running, jumping, and which other? Oh. Think back to your school days. I suppose you'd say the other one was peeing. Uh, I thought it might be like throwing things, but I don't know. If you're unsure at this point, you might like to have a peek. And sometimes it might they be swimming. Okay, yeah, I'm going to peek. Well, uh, swimming, that's not athletic. <laughs> no, it's not. That's why I just laughed. I yeah. might just peek. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to have a we're going to have a little peek at uh, your answer, Evan, if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. So here it comes. And hopefully this will make you feel a lot better and we will double the money for your charity to £10,000. Oh. Throwing. Why did you tell me to peek? I didn't <laughs> tell you to peek. You said you wanted to peek. OK, yeah, I did want to peek. Well, now you peek. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. Well, you don't have to take that. You can you can put something else down. No, no, I'm taking it. I'm having that. Are you? Yeah. OK, lock it's it in. <laughs> Well done. You've got it right, thanks to the peak. Evan, thank you very much. With a little bit of that naughty peaking, we've got you to £10,000. Now, who would you like to have come out here and help you? It could be Evie or it could be Luca. Let's have Evie. Evie's turn. Two are going to get on because Evie would like to be a TV presenter. Ah! But of one particular event, I believe. Yeah. Because you love animals, you would like to present crafts. Crafts. Oh. Because I um, I got two dogs at home, so I like dogs. Here we go. Let's do geography. Geography. Yeah. World geography for a ten-year-old. Okay, class, come on, concentrate. Here we go. If George is in Budapest, Bungle is in Helsinki. And Zippy is in Copenhagen. Who is the furthest north? <laughs> Can I see it? Can I see that or not? How much? That's just cruel. Is that cruel or what? It's cruel, cool, yeah? yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. You want to keep the audience on your side, Noel? <laughs> so shame. No. <laughs> no. Now, Evie seemed very confident in this subject. You can, of course, acquire her answer. You've already been a naughty, sneaky peek. So what you can do is actually copy the answer that's here, if you're not confident. I think it's Helsinki. What would you like to do? Pretty sure it's Helsinki. Bungle, then? Yes, but then... Am then, I just being rude? Well, the hand is just hovering over the button. <laughs> She doesn't know, doesn't know. <laughs> There's a lot of money at stake here. What are you going to do? Oh, she, oh, she's gone for it. She's gone oh, for it. No. Oh, it's too late to copy. Yeah, so. can't bring it back. No, you can't bring it back, as he says. <laughs> so what's it going to be? It was because you were taunting me. Uh, don't blame me again! <laughs> <laughs> OK. Oh, no. So what was the answer? Bungle. Bungle in Helsinki, you think, is the answer to that question? And you had the front to blame me. <laughs> it's not my fault. Oh, no. It's not my fault whether you're right or wrong. Thank goodness you're right. <laughs> 15,000 pounds. I'm seriously going to have a heart 